Hey everyone, Brian with the Unlocker.com back today with the Asus EPad Transformer again, and we're going to show you how to unroot this device today and uh, bring it back to complete stock conditions. Okay, you may have your reasons. You may want to uh, send your device into Asus because you're having a warranty problem. You may want to sell your device on eBay or something and feel like you can get more for a stock unrooted device versus something that's been hacked. Whatever the case may be, you're here because you want to know how to unroot it. And we're going to show you an easy way to do that without having to hook your device up to a computer. Uh, now, I will start off by going into the browser and showing you this is a... Uh, posted XDA and it's post made by Philip West and it's an easy unroute and uh, it, it, it works uh, and so thank you to Philip West for posting this however uh, we are not going to be directing you to the same files that Philip uses and we're going to have a slightly different procedure and it's not just to be different um, I tried this and I actually shot this video several times today and uh, part of the problem if you look down here at the end says you know once you boot back up check and make sure the super you super user icon is gone and that was a problem that I was having and I could not do it uh, with Philip West method there so uh, I would basically unroot my device return to uh, uh, my stock uh, recovery so I had no root uh, stock recovery everything worked just fine except for in the uh, app drawer you know if we go here to the app drawer you'll see that I've got a super user icon here and I had a super user icon when I was done with his post so uh, in doing it that method and I did it three different times and uh, tried a couple different things and I've actually uh, modified some of the files myself and uh, we've got links to those on our uh, on our website so if you're viewing this post on the unlocker.com check out the links there uh, we will basically uh, here, let me take you in here and show you we've got uh, on Mega Upload, we've got a couple of different files. One is a repacked ASUS ROM, and you can see I've got the US version uh, without SU app. So it doesn't have the super user app in it, which the other one did, which is why it kept coming back. And then we've also got the uh, stock recovery. So go ahead and download both of those files. You can do it directly from your transformer. Uh, download both of them and put them on your SD card. And I've got mine already downloaded obviously and in our file here you can see that I've got both of those files loaded and now we need to boot into recovery so we can go ahead and load those uh, I, I will also recommend some things around, along the way and uh, tell you things not to do as well uh, just make sure you pay attention because uh, if you try to take a shortcut or something like that you could end up with a uh, soft brick device and uh, take that one from me because I've done it so we can just press and hold the power key go ahead and click on recovery or if uh, if your ROM for whatever reason doesn't support this uh, then you can power down using the uh, you know just power down using the normal method and then when you boot back up press and hold the volume down key and the power key together and then uh, press the up key and that will get you into recovery alright so we're gonna go ahead and just jump straight in there and we'll pick this back up in clockwork mod recovery Alright, so here we are back in Clockwork Mod Recovery, and if you've been rooted for a while, this should be familiar to you. We're going to go ahead now, and we're going to scroll down, and uh, we'll go ahead, now is a good time, go to the Backup and Restore section, click your Power button to accept, and then you want to go ahead, and the very top one is Backup. You want to go ahead and make a backup. It's just a good idea to do so. Um, I recommend that you do that for whatever reason. Um, you know, in case something happens, you always have a backup that you can revert to. Uh, it is going to save your SD card, so if you're going to, you know, sell this or whatever, you can always clean your SD card off. But I recommend doing that. Anyway, moving on. We're going to go now to now that we've done our backup. We're going to go down to uh, Wipe Data Factory Reset. So go ahead and click on that, and this is just going to basically remove all your user files. Uh, all your apps from the market, uh, all that stuff from your device. And once we're done with that, it's going to pop back up. Uh, now, you really don't need to wipe the cache partition because that's already been done. Uh, but if you want to, you know, you can go ahead and do it again. It's not going to hurt anything. And it'll go ahead and do that. 
and then now we're going to install zip from SD card. I'm going to choose the zip. Now navigate to the repacked ROM, wherever it is that you put that. Oh, it's not where I put mine. Unroot. There we go. All right. So we've got the, the two files were uh, the recovery and the repacked 8.2.3.13 US version without SU app. Now that's not the most current version of the uh, ASUS um, uh, software, but that's okay. You really don't need it to be. Uh, go ahead and click on that. And this is going to install uh, what is essentially an ASUS uh, ROM, but originally it did have uh, super user uh, built into it and I've removed that functionality because if you're unrooting your device you don't want root nor do you want any traces of root and that's what the other one was kind of lacking so once this gets done uh, we'll pick it up and go to the next step alright now that that's completed what we need to do is reboot our device and we're gonna let it boot back up into the operating system and then we're gonna reboot it back into recovery and then we're going to load the new recovery software. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I could do this all right now. Well, if that were the case, that would be the way I'm showing you to do it. I'm not showing you how to do it that way because I actually tried to take that shortcut today myself and I soft bricked my device in which I had to uh, flash using the MV flash utility and it created more work and I don't want to see anyone do that. So once you install the new repacked ROM, simply go back and reboot system now it takes an extra minute or two to do this but if you don't do it there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna spend a whole lot more time trying to fix your device that won't boot won't power on won't do anything so uh, take it from me and uh, follow this step to the T reboot your device once we get there we'll, we'll boot back into recovery all right you can see we've got the uh, traditional ASUS uh, boot animation running right now uh, so any custom boot animations or anything that you had at this point in time uh, should be gone and as soon as this thing catches up with itself uh, it'll load and we'll be greeted by the welcome screen and now that we're at the welcome screen there's nothing uh, we need to do here at this point in time just press and hold your power key and then say OK to shut down now we're going to have to uh, reboot into recovery the old school method by using our buttons because uh, that functionality to reboot into recovery is no longer supported by our current uh, operating system. So as soon as this uh, powers down, press your volume down key and hold it in and press your power key and hold it in. And then as soon as the screen flashes, you're going to let go of both. You got this little dialog up at the top basically telling you if you want to boot into recovery, press up. So go ahead and press up when you see that dialog. And then now we're back into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now we've got the uh, we've got the custom ROM removed and we're back to a, a stock ASUS ROM. It's a little bit older of a, of a ROM. It's not the latest update, but it's still stock ASUS. There is no super user in there and I'll prove that to you in a few minutes, but We've got to get rid of this recovery because if you're sending this back to uh, ASUS for warranty repair, they're going to know, obviously, that you hacked it. So, we're going to scroll down and we're going to in install Zip from SD card once again. Choose Zip from SD card. And now go back to the file that you downloaded for the recovery, and it's the 8239usrecovery.zip. And we'll have a link to this as well, but this is the exact same file uh, that was linked in that uh, post by Philip West on XDA. So uh, go ahead and flash that. And what this is going to do is this is going to remove Clockwork Mod Recovery. And it obviously won't take effect until we reboot, so go back and reboot system now and now we've got uh, all of our boot animations uh, the custom boot animations are gone uh, we've got we've gotten rid of the, uh, the whatever ROM you were running whatever custom ROM and we've got a stock ROM on there right now it's a little outdated but it's on there and then we've got the um, stock recovery uh, back on so clockwork mods gone so we're we're pretty much right at this point in time 
uh, everything has been uh, removed. So I'm going to go ahead uh, just sign into my uh, Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip all my setup of my accounts because uh, we really don't need to set that up, especially if you're going to be sending this uh, back to ASUS or selling it. So go ahead and set up your Wi-Fi and then uh, meet me on the other side. And we're all uh, signed into Wi-Fi there, so you've got access to uh, to the wireless, uh, you know, internet if you need it. You really don't uh, have to have it at this point in time, but uh, you know, I wanted to be able to just make sure that some things are working. So if we look at our app drawer now, uh, you'll see that uh, this is exactly what the stock firmware comes with. There is no super user application in there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go into our settings we can find here and I see it's already downloading our new firmware but if yours doesn't automatically start downloading go into your settings go to about tablet and then up at the top you got system update then there's a little little box there for check update and if your device doesn't automatically start downloading it uh, you can do it there now it is going to need uh, two different updates for some reason uh, it doesn't download the most current update. It actually downloads a newer update than what you're running, uh, but not quite uh, the final version that you're going to have on your device. So go ahead, wait for this to download. When it does, you get this little notification here. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to say a new software update is available. You can go ahead and install. And it's going to automatically, um, it's going to check it for you. And then it'll reboot into the stock ASUS recovery. So it's not going to be using Clockwork Mod anymore. And then once it gets done, it'll go ahead and reboot your device automatically. And we'll pick it up from there. Okay, just to give you a peek during the install process, this is installing that uh, update. And you can tell that this is the stock recovery. This looks nothing like... Uh, uh, Clockwork Mod, we have no menus or anything here. There's no text on the screen. It's just uh, installing that update and then it'll reboot automatically for us. Alright, so the update took about uh, five, six minutes, somewhere around there. And now we boot back up and you can see we're still connected to Wi Fi, so it didn't wipe data or anything like that. Uh, but now what we're going to do is just check our software version. So if we go in here to settings, go to about tablet you can see that we are running build number if it'll focus there is HMJ 37 uh, dot US uh, underscore EPAD dash 84411 which is not the latest version of the software so uh, what we need to do now is we've got one more update to install so up here at the top we've got system update and then you can go ahead and click the box and say check update and as soon as it runs it's going to notify us that there is an update check your notifications and you can see here now that it's downloading now this file is going to be the most recent version of the ASUS firmware so once this uh, once this gets done downloading go ahead and install it just like you did in the last method and then uh, we're going to be close to finished on this one guys all right, once the file was done downloading, I went ahead and just clicked it and clicked install just like we did before. And you can see now that it's um, it's loading. We've got a new boot animation that was included with the latest file version. Uh, and once this gets done installing, when it boots back up, we'll check the model version uh, that's now installed on our device and make sure that it is indeed the most current. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to jump into our settings and we're going to verify that we do have the latest version of the ASUS firmware on here. So if we go to settings, go to about tablet, and we scroll down, you can see the build number. We've got 8.6.5.19. See if it'll focus in there. And there it is. That is the latest version of the software, and we could uh, prove this. I go into system firmware update, go ahead and check for an update, and it's not going to find anything. Uh, that's because there isn't a later version. So uh, now that we've got that done, we've got the latest version of the ASUS firmware loaded on our device. We've got the ASUS stock recovery loaded on, on the device. There are no traces of uh, anything. There's no super user app in the app drawer. Uh, you would never be able to tell that this device was 
indeed rooted. Um, I would definitely go through and clean up uh, any files that you have on your internal storage. Go ahead and take those off because they're all uh, they're all basically null and void now. Um, you know, if you're going to be selling it or whatever, so you may want to back that up. Uh, but uh, see, there is no uh, update available for your device. Uh, one more thing you may want to do if you go into the privacy section of your settings, you'll see that there's a uh, place to do a factory data reset. That will essentially uh, remove all affiliations with your device uh, in terms of your Gmail account, uh, your Wi-Fi connections, that kind of thing. And it will make it so that it's a stock uh, completely just like it was out of the box except for with all the updated firmware and that kind of stuff. So, sorry for the lengthy video guys. Uh, I did want to take some extra time on this one based on some of the trouble uh, that I had with it and some of the places where I see that even as an easy unroot. Uh, people could run into uh, to having some problems. So this should be pretty much a foolproof method. Uh, I don't really see any pitfalls. Follow the directions and you'll be just fine. This is Brian from The Unlocker and we'll see you next time.